I'm Jen Page Hendy with Fantasy Alarm. Did you miss out on your number one waiver claim this week, or are you just in a super deep league? Well, I've got some deep cuts for you for your week nine rosters. Number one, running back Troy Main Pope. It seems pretty clear that Justin Jackson has emerged as the number one running back with the absence of Austin Eckler, with 142 total yards on Sunday, proving he's both a rushing and receiving threat. But the question is, is Josh Kelly the default number two in a backfield which is designed to be run by committee? It's worth taking a shot on 27-year-old Troy Main Pope on this feisty Chargers team that has rushed for the eighth most yards per game this season. Kelly and Pope were almost evenly split at 32% each for snaps, while Jackson saw 37%. Pope rushed 10 times and caught five of seven targets for a total of 95 all-purpose yards. Next up, the Chargers have a juicy matchup with the Las Vegas team that has been very generous on the ground. Pope did leave the game on Sunday and will need to clear concussion protocol, but he's certainly worth a deep add. And speaking of running backs, Jonathan Taylor managers must have been full on tilting on Sunday. Come to find out after that game, JT has been dealing with a bit of an ankle issue. Well, that info would have been nice before the game, but since Frank Reich did not oblige us, instead we had to watch anyone and everyone score except Taylor in a game where the Indy offense finally erupted for 41 points. Say la vie. But at least now we know there was a reason Anyway, no chance Naheem Hines is still available, but Jordan Wilkins is rostered in less than 1% of leagues. We saw Wilkins rush 20 times for 89 yards and a touchdown on Sunday. And if Jonathan Taylor continues to struggle, Wilkins is certainly worth a deep add. Next up, Indy faces a rather tough Baltimore defense, but after that, the Colts will see the Titans who allow plenty of points on the ground. Did you miss out on KJ Hamler for Denver? Deshaun Hamilton saw a bump in activity this Sunday with no Tim Patrick to the tune of five targets, 82 yards, and a score. We could finally be seeing the Broncos all healthy. And if their comeback win in their final moments versus the Chargers is any indication, Locke could be feeling more and more comfortable in the pocket. And this team, well, it has plenty of weapons to make a splash. Of course, from week to week, we could see any number of receivers be productive, but next week is a matchup with the Atlanta Falcons. The Falcons have surrendered a very generous amount of fantasy points to wide receivers in 2020. And finally, over in Miami, lots of things are changing. The defense is stepping up. There's a new quarterback under center, and it could be time to go in a little early on Hakeem Grant. Though the Dolphins didn't overwhelm with offense, we saw Tua target Parker the same amount of times he targeted Grant. Only twice. Uh, though Parker did get into the end zone, Grant was more efficient with his one catch, taking it for 15 yards. Before the bye week, Grant finished second on the team in receiving yards, bringing in all four of his targets for 48 yards, which was more than Preston Williams. With Parker often banged up and a new quarterback under center in a team that is trending upward, this is a speculative move that could pay off in deeper leagues.